Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. LCS trip number 89. And he likes to sell me these dimes at $6 a piece, no matter whether they're Seated Liberty dimes or BU Mercury dimes. So I had to pick them up at $6 a piece. The top two are 1916s, a Philly in uh, San Francisco. And then in the middle, we have a 1934 Philly. And then he gave me five 1943 Denvers. All of these are in BU condition. I can't believe he gave them to me for $6 a piece. Anyway, let me take a few of these out of the air tights here. We'll take a closer look at a few of them. All right. Broke a few of these out. First one, 1916 Philadelphia. And that has some wicked toning going on with it. It's almost like some gold toning. Just love it. Really good one. It just shines. And San Francisco right ne next to it in 1916 San Fran. Another good one. Both of these bl are believed to have full bands on the reverse, which you'll see here in just a second. And down there, 1934. And then the blazer of the group, those 1943s. Beautiful. Nice to have these in BU condition. All four of these have full bands. I just don't know if my camera here can really show you that on the reverse, but we're going to give it a try. The reverses. Again, that 1916 Philadelphia just... Nice toning on that coin. Love it. If I were to pick my favorite Mercury Dime in my collection, this would be the one just because of that toning. And there's the San Francisco. As I said, I believe these have full bands. I'd probably figure it to be a 63 or a 64 on the grading. There's that 34 Philly. Then that blazer, that 1943, it's almost got some cameo in it, really. So shiny. Anyway, for $6 a piece, again, I believe I scored a deal. He keeps on wanting to sell me those. I'll be a buyer. All right. Love them Mercs. Remember to like, subscribe, and all those other good things. I'll see you on the next video.